Uh, one thing I want to talk more about that you mentioned earlier, because I I think that like people let like literal memes run their life, right? And yeah. talking about like the word toxic and mm-hmm. gaslighting and men are trash, all the shit that gets like blasted into people's faces constantly, I think fucks up so many relationships, yeah. so many people. And I think people see like a meme where it's like, oh, drop that person out of your life. And they will literally take that advice and just put it into play. Do you see that like a lot with people you talk to or in your experience of like, coming to you with like these little like snippets they hear and letting it change their entire mindset about something. So the number one things I hear, if he wanted to, he would, which drives me up a fucking wall. Cause it is, it? if he wanted to, he would. Oh yeah. It is one of the, my like least favorite sayings. Um, I used to be of the school of thought of that. Like I used to be in that, like, well, if he really wants you, he will. And it's like, oh, that completely discredits what bandwidth that like people are dealing with their own shit. There's no compassion in that sentence. Um, if he likes you, you know, if not, you'll be confused. And it's like, no, dating's confusing. Even when a guy tells me he likes me, it's still confusing. Cause mm-hmm. you're like, but in what context? Like, it, yeah. So I think there are a lot of those like buzzy, everyone's a narcissist. Yes, All of a sudden, everybody yeah. is a fucking psychologist and psychiatrist. What are the words can, that I hate? Um, gas, I hate gaslighting. Gaslighting. And uh, there's another one. It's but, which are very, these are like, they're, and they're, the, the problem is, is that they're very real things. Like gaslighting is in fact a form of manipulation. And like, it is something that people do. I've had it done to me, but it doesn't mean, or like the ghosting. Everybody is ghosting. I'm like, what was the situation? Well, he just never texts me after the date. I'm like, that's not ghosting yeah i think ghosting like we always get the question of ghosting right like yeah. how do you feel about ghosting and i'm like well how many dates did you go on what, what was the context like yeah. if, if i went on one date with you and then you never texted me and i ever texted you that's not that's, ghosting. yeah or like if i faded away and it was one date it's like i would r- much rather that than after one day you being like hey listen you're a great person but i don't see a future with you and you know i'm probably never going to speak to you again i'd be like okay, I felt the same way about you. Why did you feel the need to like thoroughly, formally give me that direction? Because it's just weird. Well, people think that they're a lot easier to talk to than they are. Mm -hmm. And that's what I noticed. I'm like, okay, so let me ask you. If someone really came to you right now and was like, Joe, I really, I hated your fucking pants that you wore and I thought you were stupid. You would be so upset. Not to say anyone would ever say that about you. You'd be (laughs) so upset instead of someone just not texting you back or you're like, all right, I deduced that you weren't into me. And people are like, why can't he just tell me? Why can't he just tell me? It's like your mind is trying to piece together something that doesn't necessarily need an answer to. You don't need the closure. Yeah, Yeah. you know what's funny though? I think think that some people do, some people don't, right? And I I think that like... It's funny because we talked about you talked about opening the car door, right? And we had a, we had a uh, girl on the other day, Alexa, and we were talking to to Alexa about like if you pick someone up for a first date, like she asked us, she's like, if you guys pick someone up for a first date, would you get out of the car when you get to their house? And I said yes, and he said no, it'd be weird. And Alexa, well, I said I didn't know. I said I, I would have to see how the situation played out, but I, I I honestly don't know. Okay, and then Alexa said it would be creepy. And then she goes, wait, unless I like the person, then it'd be, then it'd be sweet. And so I was like, you don't fucking, no you one's fucking know. Enough. And half the time people want answers, they want closure. So it's like, I think you just have to stop taking things personally. Not you, but well, me, yeah. everyone. Don't think, try not to take things personally and, and just kind of roll with it. And every situation is different. Every person is different. And I think the more you can kind of realize that and not, because it, it kind of goes back to expectations too. So the more you can kind of just like roll with what happens and not let it like, affect you and, and hold on to it, the better the better off you'll be. Yeah, I think it goes back to something we said earlier about if someone texts you too soon or not often plays a game, I think that there's no game, but I think it's sexy if someone's busy, right? Yeah, like, that's really hot. If you have your own life and you're busy and you, you touch base here and there during the yeah. day, that's so sexy. And it's not like, oh, you have to wait three days to text somebody. Or like, no, I think yeah. that's an extreme. Or if, if I text somebody... And they answer every like every second right away. I wouldn't be just I wouldn't be turned off that they answer. I'd just be like, "Why aren't you a little busy? Yeah. You know, like do like, you do anything <laughs> outside of?" I'd just be confused. Me. I'd just be like, "Okay." Well, it's like I don't know. I just it really. I think what a lot of people the reason that especially with the texting thing is such a thing is is it really does come down to like when you start to piece it when you start to pull back the layers and really understand like okay why do you want someone to text you it's like you want the validation you want to feel that you're not going to be abandoned you want to have some kind of like guarantee that that person's still showing up because your anxiety is so severe that sitting in any kind of discomfort and feeling like because it's like what makes somebody anxious avoidant or secure at the end of the day to really get to security is understanding that you're going to be okay no matter what and feeling okay that you're going to be 
fine if that person doesn't respond to you. It's not that your entire fucking world is going to crumble. And yeah. I get that. It's like, I'm gutted. Oh my God, this guy, we went on two dates and then I did, and then he stopped texting or the texting changed. And it's like, well, because you created a false sense of intimacy by texting somebody incessantly before you fucking met them for, we've all been there. We have all been there. Every person has had that one person that you text for like a week before you meet, sometimes longer. And then you meet and it's like either they're not that great or you don't feel it or whatever. Or one of the two people doesn't jive and then it always goes down. That is because you've projected a version of what you want that person to be onto them. It's not the actual fucking person. If that were the person, you guys would be in a happy relationship. But you don't know somebody or like, oh, I was dating this guy three dates and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, who, who is that three dates? <laughs> I don't know someone after six months, I still don't even know their routine half the time, but three dates, do you think that I'm going to let you know about all my childhood traumas in the first fucking month? <laughs> like, just wait, keep getting to know me. <laughs> so it's like, I think there's a, that, like, just immediacy. We're such a, like, I want immediacy. I want to fill that void and I want to find my partner and I don't want to do this anymore because the thought at the end of the day of being alone is terrifying and it reinstigates those core beliefs that if somebody isn't choosing you, you're not good enough. <laughs> 